So I'm going to show you how to show up professionally inside of a call using OBS. It is about time we talked about OBS. Like OBS is this cool bit of software that sits between your webcam feed and all of the sources you want to pump into your webcam feed. So it's how we get professional looking uh, productions like the one you're looking at right now, where we can have our PowerPoint, have our image all transition around and that all will show up either in a feed, in a webcam, so Teams, Skype, Meet, Zoom, uh, it can show up there, or you can just record and make a show and make a production, or you can stream it over to YouTube or Twitch or any other streaming service. Let's talk about how OBS hangs together. So what you're looking at is OBS. You'll see on the right hand side there, we can do three things. We can start streaming, we can start recording, or we can start a virtual webcam. They're the three options, they're the three main things that we can do with OBS. Send over to a streaming service, start recording locally, or start a virtual webcam so that our output goes to a webcam. Okay, now let's set up a scene. So this is our first scene. Inside of that scene, these are all the options and all the things we can do inside a scene, but the thing that we're gonna do in this particular scene is set up our webcam. And here we go, we've added our webcam to our, uh, our scene. So simple as anything, it's literally a webcam feed. That webcam feed is now going to get sent over to our web virtual webcam. So we've just started our virtual webcam. So once we go into a, a product like Zoom or Teams or Google Meet or whatever it is, we'll now see an OBS webcam. So if we go to video settings there, what we're looking at is the output from OBS. And it's a really simple example in this case, the output from OBS and that output is being sent over to a webcam. So nice and simple, We've, we could have done this without OBS, right? Let's start to jazz this up. Let's start to add other scenes and add other elements to this, to this uh, production that will give us the look that we wanna give. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna now reintroduce another element and into this second scene. And that element, we're going to actually select a second display. So in this case, I've got another monitor set up uh, where my PowerPoint sits. Uh, so once we hit OK there, you will now see what's happening in my secondary display. So now we've got a scene that is showing everything that's happening in another display. And in this particular instance, that second display is going to show a PowerPoint. Uh, once we've got that set up and we kind of love that we're going to show a second scene with PowerPoint, uh, let me... Um, share what that looks like in zoom so now inside of zoom we've got two things we can show inside of our inside of our webcam feed the first thing is going to be the scene one which will be me the other will be scene two so you notice now that i can switch between these scenes and what the viewer is going to see in the webcam by itself alone without having to share any other weird screen sharing things uh, is a produced session is now they're seeing my powerpoint when i want to see them want them to see my PowerPoint and now they're seeing my my face when I want them to see my face. Uh, let's do a few more things here. Let's kind of make this even more exciting. So we've got scene one with me in it. We've got scene two with our PowerPoint in it. Uh, now we want to kind of add uh, an extra element. Um, we want to add a picture in picture. We want to have a third scene now that's going to show a picture in picture of me and the PowerPoint. So I've just duplicated and I've made a, a third scene. In that scene, I'm going to add a video capture device. So we're gonna just add our webcam back again uh, and that's gonna drop itself into our scene over here. And I can position that wherever I wanna position it. I can drop it up on the top right hand side there. I can resize it if I wanna resize it. So now we've got a third scene that is showing First scene shows me, second scene shows that screen share, that PowerPoint, and now the third scene is going to show my picture in picture. Now, if you notice something about my productions when you see them is I often have that kind of blank space on the right-hand side there. Um, I kind of like doing that. I kind of like having uh, enough space on the right for me to fill the right-hand side. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a second, but let's just go back and have another look. There you go. That's our third scene, and as we switch between these, sh these scenes, um, that's what... Zoom is going to see or any webcam enabled app is going to see what the output of these scenes are all because I've got that virtual webcam switched on. So let's go back to that right hand side there where I kind of like to have my image uh, kind of fill the right hand side. So let's go back to PowerPoint. Let me give you a good example of where that would fit. So there's a great example. That's me uh, where I normally will show something on the left there uh, and I've got that blank space on the right. So now we're going to take my image there 
uh, let's just duplicate this one so have, we've got a third one. So now we've a fourth one, sorry. So now we're going to have one with a small picture in picture, and then we're going to have one on the right, uh, one with a big version of me on the right hand side. So you can see our four scenes there, but we want to now modify that webcam feed so that it looks a little bit better. Whoops, we don't want to go there. We want to, that's all the properties of the webcam, but we want to right mouse click on it, and then we want to go to transform. And then we're going to edit our transform. Oh, no, let's go. <laughs> let's make it a bit bigger just so that we can see what we're about to transform. Uh, so there's our big webcam and we're going to now go right mouse click. We're going to hit transform again. We're going to edit our transform. And here's where we can modify a bunch of properties. Here, we're, here's What we're going to do is we're going to crop the left side by about 400. And we're going to crop the right side by about 400. That's a bit too much. Uh, so let's change our cropping. Let's maybe bring that down to say maybe... Oh, is that enough? Let's see. But you see how we can dynamically start to change the properties of what that feed's going to look like. Uh, I'm going to just settle in at, I think, at 150 each side. And now we've got a cropped image uh, of that webcam, and it's going to uh, now sit on the right-hand side. So now I get that look that I like personally. I get the to see myself on one side and then my PowerPoint on the other side. And now when we transition between all of these um, scenes, whenever I choose to just have me or I choose to just have... Um, a picture in picture of me when it makes sense or when I choose to have a big version of me, they're literally all just scenes within OBS that I can then click through and um, and decide what you're going to see on the other side of that presentation. Uh, pretty cool, right? Uh, these scenes can be mapped to a stream deck, so an Elgato stream deck, so that you can just physically press a button and switch between these scenes so you don't have to tinker around with the OBS software. Uh, let's have a quick look uh, at what we look like in OBS, uh, not in OBS, in, in um in our webcam. So again, I'm switching between these scenes and now you're getting this polished and produced uh, experience and not some sort of weird screen sharing thing. Um, and those those elements that you're seeing, the PowerPoint element there, that could be any element of any screen uh, that we can decide are going to be part of our presentation. It could be overlays, it could be data that we show from elsewhere. Uh, there's no limit to the things you can do uh, with these scenes that we're putting in there. So I want to show you guys um, a quick tip, my favorite kind of uh, OBS plugin. Uh, that plugin is called um, OBS uh, Move Transition. You download it. I'll put the link in the in the description down below. But once you download it, you can install it, and it's going to enable it's going to enable you to do something which I think is kind of cool. It's going to enable you to um, not just have these scenes the way that you've, if you've noticed they've been transitioning like using a fade from one to the other um, and then when I go to the next one you see that how it's just a nice subtle fade which is beautiful it's the standard transition inside of OBS but that move plugin that I just that I just told you asked you to install uh, will do something even cooler what move will do so we literally we can enable move there's a bunch of settings which I won't go into right now just for brevity uh, now, move will take your elements inside of your scenes and actually move them to their new location. So if I've got a webcam in there and then I do this and switch over to that one, you notice it didn't just fade in and fade out. It transitioned. It moved the elements around so that they kind of see how good that looks. Uh, and now you've got elements moving around um, your, your canvas here in all of your scenes. So you've got this nice, fluid, professional looking uh, transition. So that's my pro tip. So now you're producing professional shows inside of your cores and you're looking a million bucks. Uh, OBS is 100% worth checking out. It's what all the cool kid streamers use. It's what, all the, um, it's what all the professionals are starting to use. There are alternatives. There's XSplit. There's a, uh, a Mac app called mm -hmm, Double M H Double M. Uh, there's Ecamm. There's a bunch of software. There's Streamlabs OBS, which is a derivative of the one I'm showing you here. There are a bunch of options that will allow you to um, to take your different collected feeds and turn them into one webcam feed. OBS happens to be my favorite. It's all software based. It's all free, obsproject.com, and you're good to go. Uh, hopefully that helps you level up your game. Um, be good, subscribe, at least thumbs up. I like it when I see the little bloop telling me someone actually cared about the videos, uh, or comment back if you've got some feedback on it. Uh, thanks so much, boom.